So guys, welcome back for a pretty um, short vlog today. Um, we've been having some amazing weather here in cottage country in Ontario and um, we've had 24 degrees, been outside, been jumping in the lake, been kayaking and today it's snowing and um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's been snowing for about two hours now. <clears throat> it's not sticking but it's um, at the moment but it's really really coming down and creating a lovely atmospheric um, effect to the to the wilderness around here um, and we've got a pine tree I'm in my conservatory it's freezing cold my feet are like ice blocks my hands are cold family in there watching a film at the minute and um, uh, yeah and I've got some jays coming in I've got like between two and five jays coming in now we've got a conifer tree just out here and there's a lot of um, pine cones and there's loads of little nuts and stuff around the floor, loads and loads of pine needles. And I've put some dead um, birch branches out for them to perch on. And they're also perching on the tree behind, um, which is giving me some really unique opportunities to get some, um, some nice shots. So uh, yeah, just a very quick vlog guys, just on these lovely um, blue jays, I'm absolutely loving photographing them. They might be common birds, but they're absolutely gorgeous. We've got a couple of juveniles here. We've got a couple of adults. The old um, headdress goes up at the top. Beautiful. Recording a bit of slow-mo as well. Um, it's just so, so nice. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, it's a bird that's amazing. It really is. Um, the vocalization calls they do when they're in their groups is amazing. Um, hopefully you'll pick some of that up on the... Uh, on the video but uh, just sit back guys relax watch the next five or so minutes of uh, footage on these wonderful blue jays that I've been filming over the last week and especially today with the snow.
So guys, we just had the um, really nice looking J, um, full adult, I think, coming in. With its headdress up, just to give me a nice little turn as it landed. Um, they're sort of landing on the perches, looking on the ground, looking around for stuff, hopping down, having a forage around, and then hopping back up, up again, doing a bit of feeding on the ground. Some of them are coming in and landing on branches, just under the tree, taking shelter. I'm capturing just as they're coming in. Um, oh, fantastic, they really are, really are. And they're notoriously quite shy, very intelligent um, birds. So naturally quite wary. I don't know if you can see, but I'm shaking in here. It's, it's so cold. Um, oh, it's fantastic, it really is. So guys, one thing that's obviously quite difficult here is, you know, these birds aren't being fed. They're feeding naturally from some of the pine nuts and stuff below this pine tree. I've put the posts there obviously so they can hunt from so that they're not coming in that often. They've been landing on some of the perches and they've been pecking out a lot of the dead wood in the old birch branches. Um, not sure if they're looking for grubs. Although it's tempting to put some food out, it's not really the the done thing for me really. I just want them to do it to do things naturally. Um, but they don't come in very often. I've been here for about six hours now and they haven't been in for at least an hour. So it's just a bit of a waiting game. My wife keeps supplying me with coffee, which is great, and a few biscuits here and there. But I'm hoping, I'm trying to get at the moment, I'm trying to get a a nice slow-mo shot of um one and sixtieth of a second, which will give that little trail of snowflakes, same thing with rain. So if you want to create that motion blur there by keeping the bird quite sharp, it's got to not move too much, enough to freeze that action and then to give that lovely effect of the snow falling. If you want a freeze motion, sort of one and thousandths of a second, which will give you that nice freeze of the uh, snow as it's coming down. So I'm trying to get a mixture of both, high shutter speeds, low shutter speeds, and I'm also shooting at um, 4K 120 slow-mo and also full HD, double that slow motion. So just trying to create a little bit different, obviously shooting at full HD, I think it's at 240. Um, it's really slowing things up, but it's lovely to convey that movement of the J as it coming into land. Um, so I'm just trying to experiment a little bit. I went down to 1 and 30th, but it just wasn't working. I've gone real low on dippers before and managed to get away with it. 1 and 6th of a second, 1 tenth of a second. Um, but if I can nail a couple shots here, about one and sixtieth, and then work my way down and get a few in a bag and hopefully get better as I go. But uh, yeah, just a bit of experimentation. It's nice doing it in the little conservatory here. Getting supplied with coffee. Um, nice thing to do on our last day, really.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that um, relatively short video there on the Blue Jay. I think it's worth spending time watching this species. It's absolutely gorgeous bird. The colors are amazing. Their social groups, the vocalization they've been doing, it's almost like a hierarchical thing. There's the young juveniles there that have to wait away while the adults come in. As soon as the adults go, juveniles come in. And then sometimes when the juveniles are there, the adults will arrive and off they'll go. So it's been interesting just to study those birds for the last sort of six hours. And I'll probably do a lot more research into the Blue Jay as well, just to enable me to have a bit more um, information in future and just enhance my species knowledge really. But uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely Baltic. Um, I've had umpteen amount of cups of coffee and tea. Oh, we've just got a jay back. We've just got a jay back now. Uh, there's two just arrived, just as I'm backing up. Well, that was fantastic, guys. Uh, just two jays come in quite quickly then. Didn't land on the perch that I wanted them to. Hopped across onto the ground and then it did literally have a fleeting glimpse. Um, as it jumped off but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed that guys and uh, lots more coming from me but uh, as I say if you don't subscribe to the channel and you want to give the channel a go please click that all important subscribe button click the, the bell to be notified of any new vlogs coming out and if you can give us a like and a comment it's always very much appreciated but uh, from me in snowy cottage country in Ontario Canada I'll see you next time charmed with some wonderful views like this. Um, absolutely amazing here. Beautiful scenery.